Enter the Stars live. This was a short notice show. Wanted to get on here and talk about the yo yo. For some reason, I scheduled this show for May 15th, March 15th, I'm sorry, and which is a long time away. So I just decided to go live tonight. This was the night that I anticipated on doing the show. Hopefully, you guys get the notification and can join the show. For those of you that are watching this after the fact, go ahead and skip ahead five minutes as I will be allowing people to gather in and Hopefully sharing the show and making sure everybody's on board. Let's go ahead and <laughs> look at this. They're already thumbs downing my video here. Let's go ahead and share this up. Make sure that you guys have a chance to pop in here. Life of Cal's in the house. Ruffy Rida. Ruffy Rida. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share this. Everyone that pops in here, please share it as well. Again, if you're watching this after the fact, uh, go ahead and skip ahead five minutes because I will be allowing people to come in so they don't miss the show tonight since I'm doing this short notice. Now, it's been a pretty crazy week, as you guys know. A lot going on with Trump changing uh, the Health Care Act, presenting his own Health Care Act, which is basically just a repackaged version of what we had. There are a few improvements. I do know that the, the mandate is going to be dropped. In other words, they can't penalize you on your taxes and force you to do this. Also, I believe they're trying to open up the <clears throat> free marketplace. So you can choose, once again, uh, who your provider is going to be and so on and so forth. Um, you guys, I roll light. I do not have health insurance, and I don't, and I want to keep it that way. I'm glad that they reversed Obamacare. I'm glad. But I'm a little worried about how this is all going to shake out in terms of what's happening next. So... Glad you guys could all make it. I see you guys all gathering in. Look at the trolls have already attacked. 17 <laughs> thumbs up and 9 thumbs down. <clears throat> and this is how they roll, right? But we don't care. Sicy Skeeto Punk, Barbara Autumn, Saving Humanity. This is going to be a short show. Glad you guys could all make it out tonight. Now, someone asked me to look at the yo-yo. They asked me to look at the yo-yo because we just got done looking at the slinky. And I was shocked when I began to look at the yo-yo and began to understand what they were really talking about when they created this yo-yo. Now, to set this up, this is the yo-yo. This was a toy going back several decades. Let's look at this here, the history, birth of the modern yo-yo. They say this is a Greek Invention 500 BC, and here we see this terracotta yo yo, this boy playing this yo yo in 500 BC. Greek records from the period describe toys made out of wood, metal, or painted terracotta, fired clay. The terracotta discs were used to ceremonially offer the toys of youth to certain gods when a child came of age. Discs of other materials were used for actual play. Then they go in to talk about the modern yo-yo having Filipino roots. But what I wanted you to note is that the original roots of the yo-yo did actually come from ancient Greece. Now many of you know that the planets are named after Greek and Roman gods. And we did a video a while back actually looking at I can't remember what planet it was, but they had rings and they knew this back then before they had telescopes. And I can't remember, I believe it may have been Saturn. And when we look at the festival of Saturnalia, this is a Roman festival. As you know, the Romans and the Greeks were tied in very closely together. Held on December 17th, we understand that the roots of Saturnalia mimic Christmas. We've done videos exposing this, that Saturnalia is in fact Christmas. But what I want to focus on today is this salutation. 
the phrase I O Saturnalia was the characteristic shout or salutation of the festival originally commencing after the public banquet on the single day of December 17th. The interjection I O is pronounced either with two syllables I O or a single syllable with the I becoming and pronounced yo, J O or yo. These are the roots of the yo yo. Now, follow me on this because this is crazy. What they do is they say, I O, I O, I O. That is the salutation or yo, 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 yo. Let me see if I can find that in here. And when you look at what a yo-yo is, it is actually a spiral wrapped around a round object. I'll say that again. It is a spiral wrapped around a round object. What else has a spiral wrapped around a round object. Well, it's Saturn's rings. Saturn ring spiral. It's the outermost ring of Saturn is actually a spiral. So now you can imagine grabbing the end of this spiral. And now what you're seeing is a yo-yo. Saturn is a yo-yo. When you grab the end of the spiral, and unwind Saturn, you get the yo-yo. So you're probably asking, Casey, how did they know that Saturn had rings in 500 BC? And it's, it's what I've been telling you guys all along. It's because the planets are actually the empty remnants of fallen stars. The Book of Enoch tells us that each of us has a star in heaven. It says the righteous and the angels have a star in heaven. And that star shines as brightly as how righteous you are in this life. And I believe that these planets, because they were named after these gods, that they were actually fallen, like the remnants of these fallen ones. That are, that are up in the sky. Maybe the leaders, I don't know. Let me find an here where they said, I-O, I-O, I-O. So this was the salutation. They say it like three times. I may have changed this Wikipedia article. Let's see if we can find it, you guys. And so what has happened is, this is what it is. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. So I just laid out the case. It's up to you to decide, you know, if in fact this is the truth. Let's see if we can find this here before we before we go off stream here. And I'm going to open this up also for um, just open discussion. Whatever you guys want to talk about tonight, since the show is uh, so short. <clears throat> but I did want to cover this with you guys, and we're actually going to also talk about. Saturnalia, and all of the other things that link back to Christmas. This is our Christmas tradition. Greeting cards. They had a work bonus. Okay. Everyone got together for dinner, even the lower class people mixing with the upper class people. Okay. All the same stuff that happens at our Christmas time, right? The odd brother-in-law gets invited no matter what to the Christmas table, and it usually ends in disaster, right? Because someone shoots their mouth off, and things go awry. Um, there were greeting ca cards. We also see that this, this figure that they use actually had, like, fur around his ankles and his wrists. He also wore a cap called a Phrygian cap, which looks just like Santa Claus's hat. Okay. All of this is included in this, 
Wikipedia article about the festival of Saturnalia. And this is what we celebrate. It's all laid out right here, you guys. All right, so I'm going to pop back in here. Error occurred. What happened? Let's refresh this. What's going on with this? Can to cut this stream? Better back up. Anyway, that's the story on the yo-yo. Let's see here. Make sure we're still connected with you guys. Okay, right on. We're still here. All right, it's open discussion tonight, you guys. Go ahead and pop in any questions or comments that you might have. And uh, we'll keep this going for a little while before I get caught up. We're fishing today. And I caught a diploid trout. What is a diploid trout? It's a hybrid trout that somehow the state of California justifies releasing into all of the rivers and lakes and streams in California. But yet when it comes to protecting a frog or a smelt, it, it, it's just California so bad. It doesn't even make sense, you guys. It doesn't even make sense what's going on here. I went up to a natural river, which was raging, by the way. I went up to the McCollumie River, the headwaters coming out of the Sierra Nevada mountains, because I didn't go feel like going down to the lake and painting the lake fee. And just to get out of the house, just to go do something, get some exercise. And didn't catch anything on the natural river. And then I ended up going to the lake anyway. And I fished for like six hours. And I caught one fish. But the fish is a hybrid fish. So here's the racket going on in California, you guys. For those of you that are fishermen. Here's the racket. So they got all these hatcheries, right? And they say that they're trying to restore the trout or restore the salmon, right? Salmon runs and stuff. So they make these hatchery trout, which are, in most cases, like these hybrid fish. And then what they do is they release these fish into the rivers and lakes and streams in hopes that they come back. Now, obviously, the steelhead trout, are not hybrid because they would not be able to reproduce. But you're only allowed to catch one, and if you catch one, it has to be a hatchery trout. It can't be a natural steelhead trout, which is just ridiculous. So this is what we're up against here in California. And then they make these uh, non these non hatchery these hatchery trout that are non steelhead. I don't know what the difference is, but they make a difference. And they release those into like the reservoirs, okay? So that you can, they call it put and take. This is what it's called. It's just the most crazy thing I've ever heard of. It's called put and take. So they put it in and you take it. And they try to make it so that when they put it in, everything is under control, right? So they'll put it in like a lake that the fish can't get out of. And then they basically send their armies of fish and game to try to recoup some of their money. They also charge exorbitant lake fees to get in. And by the time you drive up to one of these lakes, spend money on gas and lake fees and all this, it's just not even worth it because you're not even probably going to catch your lemon and trout. And that's kind of what's going on in California, you guys. So the first time I went with my friend, uh, they had fishing game out there and there was probably 200 people along the bank, like every 15 or 20 feet trying to catch these trout. It was unbelievable. People ask me if I'm in Texas, not anymore. Um, I am now back in California, you guys. So that's the update on that. Um, let's see here. I'm looking in the chat here. So that's the story about what I've kind of been up to the last couple of days, you guys. But I did catch a trout, and so I guess that's pretty cool. It's a couple pounds. I want to get a camera soon so I can get back on my fishing channel. And um, <laughs> Gary says I used to sneak into the fisheries and fish illegally. Yeah, some of these, uh, the hatchery that that I was fishing at a couple years ago was called the McCullamy River Fish Hatchery. 
and uh, I did catch trout there. But then I, I later found out that you're really not supposed to be fishing next to the hatchery. So everything's controlled pretty much. I tried to drive along the McCallumie River to find a, a place where I could, you know, get access to the river and all of it's fenced off. And if it's not fenced off, it's got like these day use areas that you have to pay a fee, right? So that's what's going on with that, you guys. Okay, I'm reading in the chat. Still listening and talking on Dabu7 channel. Oh, is he live right now? I should check Twitter and see what's going on with Dabu. What are they talking about, John Smith? Separate people from natural food source. Yes. Casey, what do you know about the names Ahaya and Yashia? I have no idea. Great fishing in the Trinity Alps. Cool. Where's that at, Matrix Ministries? Yeah, I heard you guys are getting some uh, tornado action and hail action going on in certain parts of Texas. Yeah, T. Kerr says there's a fish shortage problem. A lot of it has to do, too, with them damming everything up. And they dammed everything up under the guise of flood control, right? But... What they don't tell you is that a lot of these rivers have natural boundaries. The problem is, is that we want to build too close to these boundaries. If we would let the river run and kind of get out of the way, then everything should be okay. Okay. State sucks. We can't have more than 10 bullets in any firearm. Yeah. It's getting crazy. While I'm here... I'm going to be able to, I'm definitely going to make a commitment to try to cover some of this local stuff going on here in California. If I'm nearby, if like there's something going on in Sacramento, I'm going to try to pop up there and see what's going on, you guys. When do you think Jesus will come? It's a good question. You know, we tried to look at that a couple of years ago. Nobody knows the day or the hour according to the Bible, but it doesn't say that nobody would know the year. And uh, take a look at that video. I can't remember what the name of it was, but I think we were looking at like 2028. 20, but again, that was just a guess, an educated guess. Nobody knows the day or the hour. I guess we're, you know, we're, our job is to focus on the now. Make sure you're ready at all times because it's going to come like a thief in the night. Let's see here. Look into Ahaya and Yeshia. Casey, okay. Thanks, Justin. Fires in Naples. <laughs> Ace McLeod, carry 10 guns and you have 100 rounds. I'm sure they've got limits as to how many guns you can carry too. That'll be next. So basically, you guys, um, like, like I've told you, this channel has been under, under attack. We've, concent we've uh, compensated for that. Um, I just have to really watch what, what titles I put out because they're immediately flagged. As you can see, we're under attack with trolls as well. So it's oftentimes I'll just disable the thumbs up, thumbs down. There was nothing in this show that should warrant someone to just come through and thumbs down it before they've even seen the show. So now you guys know what's going on. And, uh, it's up to all of us to stand up to these trolls and get rid of them, okay? Because what they're trying to do is impede free thought. They've already tried to defund my channel thinking I was going to go away. I'm not going anywhere. And now they're just going to come over here and just, like, attack the channel. So um, stay strong, you guys. And we'll get past this. Eventually, they want to defund all truthers and then... A lot of people that are not here for the right reasons will just go away, okay? But the people like myself that are here for the right reasons will go, will stay here, even if a penny is not made to support myself. I will still stay and do videos until they shut my channel down. 
Uh, w has a copy of his channel posting his videos. Yes. Um, yeah, that's his uh, 777. Any live streams on that? Any loops, um, videos that he's done. So that's pretty cool. If you guys are bored or you miss some of his stuff, pop over there. And uh, I think he's doing that often now. Blessing TX7 says, sorry, you left Texas, but Texas loves you. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks, Buddha girl. All YouTube is being attacked, says Patrick. Good. Do you feel like they're focusing on the truthers, though, or is it like everybody? I mean, this doesn't make sense for them to do that. Like, why would YouTube just harass everybody, all content creators? Like, that doesn't make sense. That's going to put themselves out of business. I think it's more directed toward like us, personally. Um, Matrix says uh, the date of the purge in the film is 322 yeah and it actually uh yeah you're right you're right matrix ministries that was the date of the purge skull and bones yeah um let's see here barbara's going in for surgery on the 14th prayers for barbara casey hope you're good with leaving texas Thanks, you guys. Um, Saving Humanity says, Hey, Casey, I get no money from YouTube. I don't care. It's all the truth I care about. Exactly. It's all that matters in the end. Um, you know, there's other ways to support ourselves. Let's see here. Thanks, Christy. Healthy and neat. Naz is in the house. Justin in Buffalo. Thanks, Joseph. Joseph's a new sub. Everybody welcome Joseph. Uh, Blessing TX7 says, what purge? It's a film, that film, The Purge. Um, it would happen on March 22nd. Yeah, Lori. You know, I have the super chat open. Lori says, get super chat. And I found out that YouTube was taking 30% of what you guys give. And it's just, I'm just not going to support that. I, I just can't. I just can't do that. And then that's when I uh, opened the, uh, I gave you guys my PayPal address. Because I'd rather have you do that than come here and give 30% away to YouTube. That's just, they, they're already millionaires. And it's just crazy how they get away with this. Rich getting richer, poor getting poor. Thanks, Trig. Um, but again, for those of you guys that, that, you know, it's just hard for me to accept donations from you guys because you have to work for your money, okay? The way to do it is to go to my website, enterthestars.com. And when you go on there and you click around, then you don't have to give any money and it supports the website. So that's the, that's the easy way to do it without uh, having to give a donation from your pocket, you see. So I've encouraged any, everyone to go do that. It's actually working out really well. All of you that have come over to the website, it's helping to pay for the website. And also it's helping to counteract all of this defunding that is going on on my YouTube channel. So everything is good as it stands now, you guys. So I appreciate all your support. Survivor is on, says T. Kerr. I, I like Survivor. Oh, you're talking about Survivor the TV show or Survivor the, the band? <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, this was a short show. I just wanted to come on here and connect with you guys for a little bit, say hello. And I guess we'll keep our eyes peeled about what's going on in this reality. I mean... Things are coming fast and furious. If you have suggestions on like movie trailers, things like that, that you want me to decode, I can do that, definitely. Um, and we can also do films. There hasn't been a lot of new films this year that have come out. People are asking me to go look at, look at Get Out. It's apparently that movie about racism, it's a science fiction film about racism, is supposed to be really good. So I may take a look at that. 
I don't know. It's been weird with the the film decodes. I just haven't been feeling it lately, and I don't know why. And I always listen to the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit's telling me back off of the film decodes, then that's kind of what I'm going to do. And and I might it might come back. You know, maybe another film will come out that I need to look at. But right now, nothing's really popping out at me. I kind of have a. Uh, I kind of gravitate towards science fiction films. I love science fiction. And so they haven't really made a good science fiction film in a while. Um, Casey, have you done a video on the Battleship movie, yes, Saving Humanity? I have not. Which Battleship movie are you talking about? There's Get National Solar. Much love to Elias. Evans, Guido Punk, Autumn Kite, Jen, Jenny Bean, 79, Patrick Good, Sampson, Candor. Keep wondering why the issues with Get Out and Racism, the film was made by a black guy. <laughs> the movie Domino. There's a movie called Domino? Uh-oh. Let's take a look at that. All right. That may be something we need to watch. Seeing as we just decoded the word domino. Let's see, film. Oh. What is this? Is this the Google Doodle? Okay, let's see what this is about. International Women's Day 2017. Okay. Okay, here's the film. Tony Scott Richards, Domino Harvey, English. Two thousand. This is from two thousand five. It's an older film. Maybe we will take a look. I've kind of highlighted. I must have looked at it already. Let's take a look here. All right. All right. Maybe we'll take a look at this, you guys. All right, guys. I'm gonna pop off of here. Um, my mom just asked me if I wanted to go get pizza with her. So that's what I'm going to go do, I think. So I will talk to you guys later. Much love to you guys. Where are you? There you are. All right, guys. Take care and be safe.